first figure. Now this force F of t will going to vary according to this way. So similarly, the displacement will also follow almost same thing. So this time the y axis is what? Displacement x of t at any time t and this one is t. There are numerous chances that how this displacement will follow this one. One of the simple is that it will follow the same path like this. And it has an amplitude equal to what? Capital X. So what is the phase difference between this and this? Is it zero now? If it will not follow like this, then it chance that the deflection, this is the imaginary part, may have a certain phase difference like this. So this time, this one is the phase difference. Or the chance is that the deflection may start this way also. So we can very well write that if this one is the force and this one is what? F of t, then my x is similar to this quantity but equal to what? Capital X. Almost follow this curve and in general may have a certain phase angle. And you can write phase angle may be positive or may be negative. So phi value can be positive, can be negative, can be zero. So is I am covering all the displacement using the one simple equation. So x is equal to capital X into sine of omega t minus phi. I required x for spring. I required x for spring. So what is my maximum displacement? Is my maximum displacement is same as x? Because it depends on this value. And what is the maximum value of sine? Is always one. So x max is equal to x. So how much maximum force I can apply? Is it equal to k into capital X? And in general, I apply k into x. Maximum is x max multiplied by x. Similarly, I will find out velocity also. So velocity equal to x dot capital X dot capital X. Amplitude is variable or amplitude is constant? Constant. Then you have to differentiate this. That is differentiate this. What is the derivative of sine? Cos. And this one is composite function. So I will write first composite function. What is the derivative of this one? Is it omega? Derivative of t is 1, phi is 0. So that is the derivative of this function. And now I write down derivative of sine. Is it cos? Is it omega t minus phi? Correct? Now you are differentiated, it means that the displacement and derivative they are perpendicular to each other. Now this one is x dot, so can I find out maximum velocity? Is the maximum velocity is given by x into omega, the maximum value of cos is what? 1. So this one is capital X multiplied by omega. Now, again I differentiate one more time to this one. So how do I get acceleration? If I know acceleration, I can find out my inertia force, mx double dot. So what is the derivative of this one? Now x and omega is constant term. What is the derivative of omega? Is another omega. So is this term is x into omega square. Composite derivative, composite derivative also can. And now what is the derivative of cos? Minus. So I have to write here minus sign. So this one is minus and this one is what? Sine of omega t minus phi. Correct? And this value is max, then what is my maximum acceleration? So my maximum acceleration is minus of x into omega square. So this one is derivative of this. So their angle is what? 90. This one is derivative of this one. So what is the angle is what? 90. So total angle from here to here is what? Is it 180? But what is this sign? Is it minus sign? So this is minus and this one is plus. So is this is acting in the opposite sense of x? For a graphical solution, graphical solution of equation number 1. To have a graphical solution of equation number 1, let first we have one reference line. So this one is reference line. Is the spring force, maximum value of spring force will act along this direction, along x. And is the maximum spring force will be equal to what? F spring max. Is it equal to k time x? 
So spring force will be act along this way. So I will just mark it like this. So this is the approximate diagram. I don't know what is this force. So this one is what? K multiplied by X. Then the spring force, sorry, damper force. If the damper force is X multiplied by omega, is it multiplied by C? So this one is C multiplied by X multiplied by omega. The phase difference between this and this one is what? 90. So we have to turn this by 90 degree. So this one is what? Damper force. This one is what? Spring force. So this damper force is equal to what? C multiplied by X multiplied by omega. So actually what I am doing, I am calculating one by one force. Is this force is over? Spring force is over? Is the damping force is over? And now I have inertia force. And the vector sum of this one must equal to this force. So this is how I am getting my solution. Now after this I have to show the inertia force. But if the inertia force is perpendicular to this, so it will be like this or is it will be like this? Where? It will be like this? It will be like this because the sign is what? Minus. If the sign is plus, it will go to this side. But is this line I am drawing here, is it parallel to this line? Because 90 and 90, 180 will also. 180 will go to this side as well as this one. But I am cho choosing this one. Why it is so? Because it is minus. And now this one is my inertia force. M x double dot. So this one is m into x into omega square. Now I will not write minus sign because this is the vector quantity. This one is vector quantity and this my orientation is what? Positive. So this vector is negative. So if the left hand side is complete, if the left hand side is complete, then I have to close this by this value. If I shift this F0, maximum value, maximum value is F0. We have taken all maximum value. So this one is also maximum value. If I take this on that side, then is the sum is zero. It means that if I close this like this one, is this value is my F0. And it makes an angle certain angle equal to what? Theta. So I can calculate my phase difference. Can I calculate my phase difference? Now I will analyze, I will show you F0 here. So this one is F0. Is that fine? This is F0 and this one, is it my direction of X? This one is my direction of X. Is this vector is positive vector? And from this point along this one, am I coming in the downward side? So is the net displacement along, net force along this one, is it Kx minus Mx omega square? So that force I will show you. Only that force. Is this force from here to here? Is it Kx? minus mx omega square and from this one if I join my t is it equal to cx omega square so this figure is same as this figure only I have constructed my this right angle triangle here so is this value is same as cx omega and is this value is k minus m omega square is it multiplied by x and is this value is my F0 by Pythagoras F0 equals to this one is C x omega square C x omega this one is F0 square is it C x omega square plus I have one bracket is K minus m omega square then multiplied by or bracket close multiplied by x and if the square is again common so adjacent square plus opposite square is equal to hypotenuse do the under root of this one is this term become x square x square and is this term also become x square so we can take out x square common and can i write f0 equals to under root of whatever this is it multiplied by x so what is my first term my first term is c 
omega whole square. Don't write c square omega square. Only write c omega square plus I do open square bracket then open bracket k minus m omega square my first bracket close my second bracket close even my under root side is also over. So if I solve for capital X that is amplitude is F0 divided by C C into omega whole square plus square bracket then K minus M into omega square into whole square. That's fine. Now recall this. What is delta static? Delta static is what? Is it F0 by K? So what is F0? Is it K multiplied by delta static? So I can put up here K multiplied by delta static. Dividing numerator and denominator by K. So we'll divide this term by K. So this term is also divided by K. Three vibration. I have governing equation equal to what? X double dot plus C by M X dot plus k by m x equal to 0 and this value yesterday we have seen this equal to what 2 zeta omega n and this value is what omega n square so i will start with c by m so what is c by m c by m is what 2 2 zeta omega n. c equals to 2 zeta is it m into omega n? What I wish? I wish by k. So I will divide by k. So shall I divide by k also? So what is c by k? What is m? What is omega n? So this one is 2 zeta. Is, is, what is omega n? Omega n is what? Under root of k by n. So is this term is 1 by omega n square? So this one is omega n. Is it divided by omega n square? Therefore, my term is c by k. I will write here. c by k is equals to c by k is it equal to 2 zeta divided by omega n. So this one is capital X. I will not make any changes to this one. I will write f0 by k as it is divided by this c by k c by k is it 2 zeta omega by n so this one is 2 zeta omega by omega n you prefer to write this way is it square quantity plus square bracket k by k 1 minus m by k is it 1 upon omega n square? So I will open one more bracket. I will open one more bracket. I will write omega upon omega n. Is it and then is a square bracket square again. What is R? Is omega upon omega n. So what is omega? Is it a frequency of force frequency? Or frequency of what? Excitation. Is it omega n? Is it a natural frequency of the system? So if I replace this one, this will become very simple form. So what is the simple form? Simple form is capital X. Then is F0 divided by K is equal to delta study. And first time is this value will be equal to what? X0. Is it a maximum displacement? So this value equals to X0 divided by 2 zeta. Is it R whole square plus 1 minus this one is what? R square and this one is whole square. Magnification is given by x upon x0. In that case, this term will be equals to what? 1. This is called as magnification factor. Short form is MF, magnification factor.